This intro to sense memory will hopefully open up the pathway to personalising your acting work. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Please do give a like and a subscribe if you're finding these videos useful as it really does help out the channel a lot. I wanted to do a series of videos called mini tips in order to help those at the start of their acting journey. Now that you may be on your way to performing speeches in an audition, let's play around with some helpful tips and hints in order to help you secure that sense of realism. Today's tip, sense memory. So go and grab yourself an empty vessel and let us begin. I love returning to this exercise as it was one of our first classes at the Drama Centre. Sitting in a cold studio and being asked to recreate the motion of taking a sip from your favourite drink. How the heck is that going to help us learn how to convey deep, unrequited love in a classical play? The same way in which we learn how to walk before we can run. The idea behind this exercise is to help you be present and engage your senses in the scene. But most importantly, to help you start creating the world around you. In your monologue, your audition speech, it is most likely that you're going to be talking to another character. Won't it be much more effective to imagine talking to a real person rather than just staring at a metal chair leg? Starting small, however, is just simply easier. We have all seen actors pick up a clearly empty coffee cup and then proceed to take a sip from it. I know, right? We're not stupid. We can tell it's empty. We want to be kind to our audience, whether they are the audition panel or the paying public. If we can get them to empathise with us, our character, then we have won. Empathy will unite character and audience as they will see elements of themselves in the movements and sounds that we create. So, the exercise. Now, although not entirely full steam ahead Stanislavski method, this intro to sense memory will hopefully open up the pathway to personalising your acting work. You can either follow the instructions now or make mental notes and pop back again later. Sit and hold your empty cup. Calm and relax. Slow your breathing right down. Bring your attention to inside your own body. Hear your breath. Feel your heart beating. Feel the cup in your hand. Now create the contents of the cup in your mind, your favourite drink. Picture it and let it fill the cup. Is the drink hot or cold? How full is the cup? How heavy is the cup? Bring the cup to your nose and inhale. Is it sweet or is it bitter? Can you feel steam on your face if the drink is hot? Or can you hear ice cubes clinking within if cold? If hot, Carefully bring to your lips and try to take a sip. Careful now. If cold, maybe try to protect that one sensitive tooth that you have. Now with all of this in mind, allow yourself to take a sip and enjoy your favourite drink. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Three years at drum school. Well done. Working with your sense memory like this, you will start relating your past experiences into your own acting work, making it personal. Starting small and simple is important because if you cannot relate to the taste or smell or weight and temperature of a drink, how can you start relating to the betrayal of a friend or the exhilaration of discovering love? Use your experiences within your own life and relate them to the character experiencing the circumstances within the play. Start small, build up and be kind to yourselves. It'll take time. It is very easy to separate acting from the same category as dance or sport, but it requires the same level of practice and repetition. That emotional muscle needs to go out on its weekly 5K run. If you have found today's video useful, please do go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button to stay up to date with the latest posts. 
As always, my friends, have fun. It's a play, darling. My name is Kai, but you can call me Caius.